Hey guys, today I'll be talking about the Wet n Wild Contour and Concealing Kit. So I got the shade Southern 51 and it's light to medium. And this is what it looks like. It's double ended. This is the contour part. Contour is right here. I'm gonna put it right here. A line. There. A line there, and then a line on my forehead, just like that. I just blend it in to my hair. Then I would take the concealer end, highlighting end, and just do the vaginals. I would do the center on my forehead. And that's it. Now I take this and contour my nose a little. And then just take swoop, swoop, and then swoop it on the top. Then I'll take my contour brush that I have from e.l.f. And it's synthetic brushes. This is not working, the brush on my nose. I'll be taking the beauty blender and be dabbing it away. And I'll be taking the beauty blender and dabbing this away. Oh wow, it looks so good. A trick is if you want if it's not blending out proper in your powder, just spray your brush with the with the makeup forever for the setting spray. Setting spray. Take this and you just blend it out. See? You just put a little bit of the spitting spray on your face and it will melt it into the powder. See? Yep. See how it melted? Yeah, and then you just bounce. It is blending out nice, actually. It did blend out nice. Then I will be taking my Wet n Wild bronzer, my Wet n Wild bronzer, Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade 739 I'll be taking a bronzer brush and I'll be setting yeah and I'll be setting those areas I'm actually looking good, my bronzer. Then today I'll be trying out 
the wet and wild highlighters. I have three of them. And it's highlighting powder. Pro Illuminous from Wet and Wild. And I will I have the colors Pearlescent. Pearlescent and the number 32321. Then I have the color. Blossom Glow in the shade 319. Then I have the color Gold Flower Crown 333. Gold Flower Crown 333. Which one should I be trying? I'm gonna try this more Blossom. Glow Blossom. Yep, I'll be trying this Glow Blossom with this e.l.f. highlighting brush. And this is what it looks like, the Elf Highlighting Brush. Put a little bit of highlighter, shake it off, and then put... Oh my god, it looks so good. Oh my god, these look so good. And they're affordable, they're six dollars. Six dollars. So if you want to round it to seven dollars, these are se seven, no, six dollars. These are actually six dollars I paid for these. And it sits on the skin good. And if you want to intensify them, you can use a setting spray. This is that, that's what this one looks like on me. It's not that, it's not that bad. I'm trying to open the other one, the rose gold, the gold petal flower. And I bought these at Walmart for $6 actually. Okay, got in. Packaging is so hard to open. And then this is what it looks like, this one. I'm gonna try this one. Oh, get off my finger. Sorry guys, I have something on my finger. Doesn't want to come off. Doesn't want to come off. Okay, there we go. Let me try this one. They're not subtle. They're out there. And I have to brush my hair ever. Okay. And then I'll be taking the setting spray and set my whole face today. And I'm running out, guys. And I love this one. It's so good. And if you want, you could put highlighter on top of this. But I don't. Because I don't like it. Like that. And that's me trying the bronzer and highlighter, guys. And my impression on these so far, the bronzer, the contour, the stick, the cream contour stick and highlight, it is good. It works. And it is good for my skin tone. Usually most of them go ashy or more like ye yellow sometimes, the concealer. Sometimes the bronzer goes ashy or orange. This one is nude, natural. This one's good. And then everything else, yeah, it's good. Even the highlighters, they're so fine. They're not finely milled, but they have glitter in them. They look more natural to the face. And I do like them. And it blends in on top of everything, even on powder and stuff. So bye guys.